get Mr. Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is going to be all about helicopters. Hey, so I'm here with Owen with Independent Helicopters at Stewart International Airport. Thanks for having us, Owen. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right, Owen, can you please show us this helicopter? Sure. Sure. Why not? So, of course, this is the nose. You got your lights. You got your landing lights here. You got your uh, directional lights on the side. So, you got your red and your green. Where's the green? There it is. Kind of looks blue, but that's green. Um, uh, your, your main skids, right? You have your skids. And as you go back, you have uh, inside here is the engine. So you can look inside here. You can open this up. Inside here is the engine. Wow. So actually the engine's back The engine. So the engine goes through all here. You got your belts that connect to the main rotor mast as well as the rest of the transmission, right? Um, you have your fuel tanks, uh, and then you get further back into your tailbone, which goes all the way back with your antennas for your radios. This is all pretty much hollow, right? Just, uh, yeah, it just sounded steel. like it. It's just steel, and then you get, um, this is your tail rotor, right? To stop it from spinning. <laughs> That gives you control, uh, and then um, this is also to protect people from not walking into the blade as it spins. It's turning. Oh, yeah, it's a little scary. reminder. Okay, which then these are you know your little lynch pins that do the control arms, right? Which then control it. Um, which also this is a control too, right? This, these are connected to your pedals. Right? Oh. Okay. So then goes back. This light will turn on as soon as that engine starts, right before that engine starts, right? Starts you moving with, with any aircraft, right? And that is, is the main, you got your main rotor as well as your tail rotor. All right, come on, look here. Let's see, we'll go right. to the, cy uh, the cyclic here, right? So if you take off the friction, is this the wheel? So the... This, this is basically, so if you push this forward, you're gonna lean forward. If you're gonna, if you push this back, you're gonna bend backwards like this. So as I, if I, if the helicopter is turning too much to the right, I can then push to the left. And then if the helicopter is turning too much to the left, I push to the right. And that basically gives you your heading. Notice, Owen, that you as a pilot are on the right side. Is that is that where you're supposed to be right now as a pilot? Yes. So pilots in helicopters, pilots in helicopters will uh, fly on the right side. Um, Co-pilots are usually on the left, and uh, usually uh, for most for most flights, uh, that's the way we fly. Uh, and so I've heard, anyways, uh, for air, air, airplanes, fixed wing, it's it's the opposite. Also, it's the normal uh, left yeah. side driver. And that's, yeah. Cool. Hey, so what's this random string for? Well, it uh, just looks like a piece of yarn, which that's exactly what it is. And it's called trim strings. Uh, again, it tells you if you're going head on into the wind or off, if you're offset from the wind. So that helps you. So if you're not going into the wind, if you're going slightly to the left or th to the right into the wind, these will 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 go either to the left or to the right oh. and it'll tell you if it if you're not heading into the wind which even in a helicopter just like an airplane you need to go head on into the wind as best you can as you fly cool so simple but effective. okay so owen so in simple terms how exactly does a helicopter get off the ground and fly well okay so the main rotors create all the lift right these are the main rotors. Yeah. Uh, for this helicopter, there's two, um, and these create all the lift and pick up the helicopter. Okay. So, besides the airfoil, which creates lift, it also will feather too as well. So, feathering is when the blades actually pitch, and depending on the pitch of the blades, it's not actually how they don't get faster. It's they just 
they get more of a pitch for more lift. So as you pull up on the collective, which I showed you, the, the pitch of the blades get greater. And as they get greater, they create more lift and pull the helicopter up. Now the issue with that is then the torque becomes greater. So what happens is then the tail rotor has to also create more of a pitch to create force, a force on it to, to go against the turning, the torque of that of the motor. The and then therefore, as we pull up on the collective, we're also pushing down on the left pedal in order to keep that helicopter from spinning around with mm. all that power of the torque of, uh, through, the, through that uh, main rotor mass. Um, that creates all the lift, and then we go, the helicopter goes up. Um, and at that point, it's, you're in the air, but now you need to go forward, right? So how does the helicopter go forward? Well, you're changing the lift. You're changing the direction of the lift of the helicopter. So instead of now putting all the lift straight down, you're, 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 you're shifting it so that it pushes everything forward, just mm. slightly, right? And therefore, and as you go faster through cleaner air, and you're getting rid of all that crazy wind that you're creating, uh, the, the cleaner the air that comes through the ro main rotors, the more lift you get. And eventually the helicopter almost helps itself as it goes up, mm. as the faster it goes. Wow, cool. All right, so on average, how high and how fast do these helicopters go? Uh, these usually go up to uh, a height of uh, 14,000 feet. Wow. Uh, but that all depends on temperature, air density, and as well as a lot of other conditions. So uh, we, they usually never reach their max. It's not a very good idea. Uh, again, helicopters are made to go low and slow. Mm. Um, as far as speed goes, again, uh, so uh, this one in particular, um, on average, uh, you can cruise at about 90 to 100 knots. Wow, that's um, fast. And um, yeah, and uh, for the smaller one, uh, you'd, you'd want to go a little slower, obviously. All right, well, thank you so much, Owen, for having oh, us and showing us pleasure. around. Thank my you pleasure. so much. Thank you. All right, well, thank you. I got to go now. for coming with us to learn all about helicopters and thank you to Owen and Independent Helicopters for having us. And if you're interested in a flight school or booking a destination tour uh, in upstate New York, I will leave the link and information about Independent Helicopters in my description. I tell you a joke about a helicopter, but I'm afraid it would just go over your head. And I just want to give a quick shout out to some fan art I received. Um, I received this picture of Mr. Homeschool from Reg. Uh, thank you so much. It looks so good. Thank you. So hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Homeschool!